morning everyone. This morning we're going to be making an omelet sandwich. We're just gonna give this a whirly. I made an omelet yesterday and I'm like, hmm, wouldn't an omelet taste really good on a sandwich? So you wanna make sure your bottom plate is in, your griddle plate is in, and your splash, splash screen slash guard. I'm gonna take a couple pieces of bacon, put it right on the grill, the griddle. And you might hear the washing machine in the background. Sorry, everybody. I think I'll do like three or four slices of bacon, that's all. So I mostly want it to, for the bacon fat, because I want to cook the eggs in the bacon fat. There you go. So your grill is on. I'm going to turn it to barbecue griddle. You're going to hit start, and I'm going to hit preheat. And we just overrided the preheat function. And I'm just going to let that cook. We're going to cook the bacon and then I'm going to head over to the cutting board and we're going to chop up some onion. And as you all know, I'm a big believer in using what you have in the house. What I have in the house is spinach. I do have mushrooms, but I'm not a mushroom lover, so I'm not going to actually put those in here. We're also going to add a little bit of pepper jack cheese this morning for a little bit of cheesy and spice. Just going to take a little bit of onion and chop it. I'm just going to do a small, very small dice on this. Okay, we don't want too much onion. Just a little bit of onion. I'm also just going to get the eggs ready since we're here. Now you can do like a one or a two or a three egg omelet. I'm going to do a three egg omelet today. This is going to make a massive, massive sandwich. Now this would be for one or possibly add another egg and it'd be enough for two people. Like two different sandwiches. To this I'm just going to add a little bit of black pepper. I like a lot of black pepper. Add whatever you like to your eggs. I'm just going to take a fork and we're just going to... Some people add milk, some people add half and half. I'm just doing straight up eggs. All right, so that's set. And they also, um, Chris brought home these um, super, super delicious brioche buns from Seed to Table here in Naples, Florida. If you're ever down in Naples, please be sure to go to Seed to Table. It's amazing. It's the one up on Immokalee Road. Fantastic. And I can never cut these right. Look what I just did. Yeah, so this is going to be the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So the bacon's been cooking for about seven minutes. It's taking longer because I didn't preheat and I'm just, I just tossed it in there. And it is getting blown around just a bit. Whoops, almost lost that guy. All right, so it's been cooking for around 10 minutes and yeah, bacon is looking good. Might be a little underdone, but I think I'm gonna pull it. And yeah, the paper towels are still in the car. We're gonna pull the bacon. Now we're going to keep the, um, the bacon fat there, and it seems to be, this might be a little too high, because it seems like everything's going up that way. Let's see if I can adjust this just a little. Yeah, that seems to be staying pretty much even. Next up, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that onion, and we're going to put that onion right on here. You can add, like I said, as much or as little onion as you want. Put it in that bacon fat. Beautiful. I think what I'm going to do is take the temp. I'm going to turn it down to 375. There we go. And now you're just cooking like you're using a regular griddle or like a regular frying pan. We're just using the Ninja Foodi. Instead of dirtying up a frying pan to make this omelet, we're just using the griddle. Alright, so we're going to give those a few minutes to cook. If you have garlic, you could actually add like a little bit of garlic right here right now if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that today. Onion is browning up nicely. I'm going to take some spinach. I'm going to add some spinach. And once again, this is just eyeballing it. Just add as much or as little spinach that you like. It's all about what you like in your omelet. And like you see, see how the spinach, it cooks down to nothing. 
All right, so I'm gonna spread this out just a bit. And we're gonna grab that egg. Now, right now, you could actually put the bacon in with the omelet. I like mine on the side. And all I do is just pour that egg around the spinach, just like that. Perfect. But all I do is take your spatula and you're gonna push it in like this. And it cooks quick, very, very quick. See, just like that. So you're kind of containing it. Now you can go ahead and add that cheese right now if you want. A lot of times I add mine after, but I'm only, I'm not a cheese, I like cheese, but I'm not a cheese lover. So what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of cheese here, <laughs> just like that. What I'm gonna do is cut this in half as best I can. Right now is we're gonna take these eggs and we're gonna flip them. Now the cheese, what I should do is take the cheese off and put it over here. Cause I don't want it, I want it melted but not like brown burnt. Now this is enough for two. Um, yeah, so if I was gonna do this for two people, I would put one piece of cheese here and one piece of cheese here. All right, egg is done. Look at that. Yeah, this is way too much egg for one person. Move over, bacon. All right, so I'm just gonna put this on a plate on the side. I'm gonna take a scoop of butter because the butter's hard this morning because it's freezing down here. And we're gonna let that melt. Just gonna put the butter around so we get both buns here. This one already has it. And we're gonna toast up these buns. Right there, I'm gonna go ahead and shut the Ninja Fruity grill off. You got a little bit of color here. I'm gonna leave that one on for a second. All right, look at that. Beautiful. I'll show you what we're gonna do here. Now that I spilled the bacon all over the place and everything else. You do have options. Just trying to clean up my mess here. Let's get that off the plate. So this is like a mammoth sandwich right here. It's huge. Now you can go ahead and put your bacon on top. Four slices is a bit excessive. But like I said, it's mostly, it's mostly for the pictures. <laughs> so that's your sandwich right there. That is like, wow. Now for even more, a tomato in the house. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and use this tomato. Boom, just like that. So you know what I think I'm gonna do going forward in the future? I'm gonna do a bunch of videos called Every Day. It's gonna be like the Everyday Foodie, the Everyday Ninja Foodie Grill, the Every Day, because this is what people do like on an everyday basis. They'll make like a fried egg sandwich. The omelet was a bit, little bit more complex, but I wanted to add a little bit of veg into my diet this morning. And yeah, it counteracts the, Spinach will counteract the, uh, the bacon. So we're gonna actually um, see if we can take a bite of this because this is like way too big, but look at this. <laughs> Let's just take a bite. Mm. That is super good. Um, if you like cheese, I would definitely add more cheese. Like I said, I'm not a cheese lover, so one piece is actually sufficient for me. This is really, really good. Yeah, so definitely make this, but this is just Ninja Foodie, Everyday Ninja.